Okay. Is, is she dead? Um, I, I guess she's dead. Maybe. I don't know. <coughs> what the heck? In interesting pose. Those are like claws, man. I hate to fight her. I really would. Good thing that'll never have to happen. Irvine's gonna get her with with his rifle. Hey! Oh, I guess she's gonna make a speech. <coughs> Interesting. Hey! Manoa came outside. <laughs> President Delling's like, what the? What is this shit? What? What do you mean, become your ruler? <coughs> uh oh. And they're celebrating the fact that they've just been taken over by someone who killed their president. <coughs> this makes perfect sense, of course. Like any Final Fantasy, it makes perfect sense. A sacrifice? Oh, crap. What the? What? Oh, I guess she came to her senses right before she gets totally owned. No, he's completely serious, Irvine. You realize who you're talking to. And of course, when Renoa's in perilous danger, we have to find a way out of the room. Oh, of course. Well, since they're checking that stuff, let's check over here. It's a statue. I don't know how you're supposed to figure this out, but you're supposed to take a glass and put it in the statue's hand. I don't know how the hell... Oh, well, if you keep talking to Zell and Selfie, eventually that'll help you figure it out, but... <coughs> you know, of course, there's always a conveniently placed secret passage in every plot device device situation 
you know, trapped in a house, use the secret exit. Trapped in your enemy's base, enemy's uh, fortress in the desert, use the ladder to get out. Down this nice little hallway. Ooh. This is so cool. And of course, there they are, completely standing out, yet no one seems to care. You would think the fact that they stand out would be a tad more prevalent. Dude. That looks pretty cool. I want to ride on that, and... There's the sorceress. Ida, Idea, whatever the fuck her name is. I don't even know anymore. <coughs> and just wait, when did those two giant bowls get there? What? Man parades are awesome. At least in this game. And okay, I, I hear you, Irvine. And we get a nice, awesome, over crazy dancers. I don't know what happens if you fall behind. And hey. But Cypher's... I, w didn't... I thought he died. So then... He didn't. I, is this... Gr is this win? Shit. I should be moving. <coughs> Fuck. I don't know what happens if the clock reaches 20 and you're still out here. And if you miss... Oh, before we go any further, I want to make sure at least one of my characters has draw. Okay, Irvine has draw. Well, they both have draw. For some reason, I kept thinking one of them didn't. And you want draw for this for when you fight in this next fight. That's It's pretty important to have it. I love how Irvine's a step ahead of us. Mr. Cowboy. Better than Mr. Know-it-all Zell. I guess. Oh, Zell isn't... ladies' man. But Zell's annoying. I, don't, I think I'd take Irvine over Zell if I had to pick. Unfortunately, I didn't get the choice. Because Zell can't use a gun. But he can, you know, disrupt a train, an entire train with his fist. I'm not gonna question. Ne never again. I'm just done questioning it. <coughs> I'm gonna have to climb up somewhere along here. Yep. Right here. We didn't have to climb up as Renoa for some reason. But we do have to a squall and Irvine. And there's the president. Um, hey, hey, people of Stelling City, um, we're gonna kill the sorceress. You guys might wanna get out of the way in case something, in case shit hits the fan. Well, Squall have to cut you down or something. Who knows? Hey, can we just get to our post? I guess we can. Sorry, Renoa, I, I guess... Oh, I guess Irvine won't let us save the world from a tyrannical dictator-type bitch. No, instead we have to go save someone else. 